Hey friends, today I am exploring Epcot's World Showcase and we're gonna have dinner actually in the Germany Pavilion at the Beer Garden. I'm so excited because I haven't eaten there since they changed everything inside there. And I also want to get some schnitzel, spatzel, and sausages. So, let's go do this. It just feels good to be walking around World Showcase in 2021. Look how beautiful it's out right now. I absolutely love it. It's around 60 degrees, so it's just got that nice chilly feeling to it. And like I said, we're gonna explore around World Showcase and get something to eat. I'm also gonna be meeting up with some friends later on. And I'm excited to try Beer Garden again, but I only went there once. And now that actually they've taken away the community seating and probably the buffet style, it'd be nice to see what it's like. I love reading the descriptions of restaurants. So this one says, celebrate Oktoberfest all year long after being transported to a traditional Bavarian village, pull up a chair at a communal table and feast on buffet style fare at the Upa beat of a German band fills the air and livens up the dance floor. Doesn't that just sound amazing? And like I said earlier, I don't think they're going to be doing a communal table only because of social distancing, but it makes it authentic and that's how they used to do it where you actually went to a table and you sat there with people you didn't even know. So like they kept it within tradition and I like that about Epcot's World Showcase. As you can see also Festival of the Holidays is starting to end and we're getting ready for Festival of the Arts. These are going to be all of the art tents. I'm very excited. I'm heading right into the Germany Pavilion now and I thought it was so funny because I was sitting here on New Year's Eve actually. Me and Jackie were in the back and we were talking about how much I love this restaurant and I haven't been there for a while and how they used to actually have plans to put a attraction in there like a ride and they never did it and I don't know it just kind of inspired me to say hey I'm gonna make a reservation and go enjoy the beer garden. The Germany Pavilion is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it in here. They still have Christmas decorations up, but it's just so well versed in culture. And it's just unbelievable, like the statues. Like had anybody noticed before that that knight is fighting a dragon? They're not actually called knights in Germany. They're called Ritter. And these ones up here actually have one of the hardest to find hidden Mickeys in all of Walt Disney World. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to show it, but I'm gonna try. On the crown of this Ritter, there is actually a little hidden Mickey directly in the center of it. And it's so hard to see. I don't even think I can zoom in. This is the farthest I can zoom, but it's there. I've seen it. And now I think it's just about time for our reservation. So we're just gonna hop to it. And here it is, the Beer Garten restaurant. That actually means buffet of foods in German. And here's a look at the menu of what they have to offer. It's $46 for adults. And it comes with seasonal salads, traditional sausages, schnitzel and spatzel, some pretzels, potatoes and chicken. And then also they have live entertainment inside. And this is the different show times for the live entertainment. You see they play very frequently and I'm excited. This is the waiting area in here. Isn't it just so themed? It looks like an attraction almost with these beautiful murals. They even went like the extra mile and put like staircases up there. It's just so beautiful in here. Now it's time to head in. Look at these big doors, I like them. Take a look at it in here, isn't it amazing? This is my table and I'm happy because this is a good spot for the show because the stage is right there. And it's like a theater seating the way it is. They have like four different levels, like one, two, three, and four. So now that we're officially at the table, I can take my mask off and we can go through a little bit of the restaurant. Now, normally this was a buffet, but since Disney's not doing buffets at this time, they're gonna do it family style. So they're gonna bring everything out to me. It's still all you care to enjoy. So if there's something that you do enjoy uh, a lot more than the other, you can just be like, give me more of this, less of that, or say, I don't want any of that. But it's all the same food. It's all listed on the app and you can just basically like pick and choose what you want. They just bring it to you. And of course, it being the beer garden and being in the Germany Pavilion, they have an extensive list of different German beers, including a German beer flight. But what I think I'm gonna go with is the Ludwig. It's basically a Bavarian Hefeweizen wheat beer. I haven't had this in a while. You can get a half liter or a full liter. I'm going all in with the whole liter. 
Um, one of my favorite things about this restaurant though is the bread service because the bread services are pretzel rolls and they're just like the pretzels that they serve out, out like in the quick service out in the pavilion themselves and they're my favorite pavilions I mean my favorite pretzels ever they're, they are my favorite pretzels ever right here are the pretzel rolls that I was talking about they are so amazing we have a nice German mustard and then the salad services come out we've got some beets some potato salad some macaroni and then some cucumber and tomato salad I'm excited to try the beets I guess I don't know you know I have to be honest I've never had beets before and I've always wondered what they were because I'm such a fan of the office and Dwight loves beets so I'm gonna try them I'm gonna try beets today Oh, oh. oh that's there it is. Oh, Holy ready. moly. Your leader of Tony Vice Beer, sir. <laughs> and a little water. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Just to give you a, a scale here. This is amazing. Oh boy. You ready? Oh, it's so good. Before I try the beets, I think I need to have a pretzel to get me all warmed up. Oh, look at that. I can legitimately come here just for those, but I said it, I was gonna try the beets. So come on, beet, get over here. Oh boy. Oh, they're not bad at all. I don't know why I had such a bad perception of beets. Well, they're not bad. I even go with another bite. Yeah. I don't think I enjoy them, but not bad. But now I got beet juice all over my plate. Seriously though, I don't know why I just thought beets were bad. I absolutely love this beer though. This is so good. I love just the experience. Like, it just fits so well. How we need burger. Oh boy. Of the buffet with <laughs> all of our favorites. And that begins right here with the pork schnitzel. Schnitzel. Frikadelli or German meatballs with a hunter gravy and spetzel. Oh, there's a spetzel. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. A roasted chicken and petite potatoes. Nice. And above the authentic German trout, Regensburger, sausage, much like a kielbasa and bratwurst. To complete that, <laughs> who can order the baked macaroni and cheese, frankfurters, and sauteed green beans? Oh, I'm so excited. Please do enjoy. This is going to be good. <laughs> this is a lot of food. Holy moly. Like, this is a lot, a lot of food. We got the schnitzel, we got the spatzel, we got the chicken, the sausages, the potatoes, the green beans, the pretzel rolls. I really love it. I am so excited to just dive in. I think the first thing I'm gonna dive into is the schnitzel. I absolutely love schnitzel, it's so amazing. The sauce actually from the German meatballs ended up on the schnitzel and it made it 10 times better. If you're not sure what schnitzel is, it's just grounded, pounded pork with breaded and fried. But now I'm excited to try the German meatballs because I like the sauce so much. Oops, whoopee, there we go. legit just put you in a good mood. <laughs> I gotta let you guys know what's happening right now. I've eaten all the schnitzel. I absolutely love it. 
The Germany meatballs are probably my favorite things. I love the spatzel. I tried the sausage, that was very good. And I even tried a little of the Frankfurts. So much food though. There is literally so much food happening right now. guys look at those horns so much good food I did ask if they'd bring me out some more the meatballs and the schnitzel because I think that's my favorite so far I do like the sausages but I'm gonna wait to see if I finish those first. I don't wanna order so much food that I don't finish everything, but I really, really love the meatballs. I think that was my favorite. Is it polka time? It must be polka time. I love polka time. The name's Gus Polanski, the polka king of the Midwest. Nice to meet you. Look at the happy polka dancers down there. <laughs> Raise your drink. was a really good show they actually paid for 25 minutes consecutive and it was fun because they kept on stopping and having everyone lift their glass to prost and cheers and the food just kept coming it just kept coming guys I'm not sure how much more I can eat because I do know desserts coming but I do have to say the Germany meatballs were my favorite then the schnitzel then the sausage then the spatzel then the chicken the potatoes the sauerkraut the green beans and the mac and cheese i just wasn't a big fan i don't like cheese that much but everything else i really really liked everything was amazing it's definitely a unique restaurant and it's so funny because my waitress actually heard me say meatball and she came over and told me that the german word for meatball is fricadella and i was like oh well you learn a little bit here too but i can say i love these fricadellas I do think we're gonna need to stop eating though because we haven't even got dessert yet and I almost finished my whole liter of beer. I'm happy we're walking around World Showcase after this. Definitely need to work off some of these calories. Holy moly. Dessert has come out and take a look at this. We've got an apple strudel with vanilla cream. We've got a Bavarian cheesecake, a German chocolate cherry cake roll and then some chocolate chip cookies. This is like an impressive dessert. I think I'm excited about that right there. Oh yeah. I am always a big apple pie, apple strudel fan, and this just looks good, especially with the vanilla cream that they put on top of it. Oh, I think I need to get a smaller piece. That was a big bite. We'll go with this one right here, yeah. Perfect. The strudel is amazing. And the cheesecake is not too bad. Right now I'm gonna try the chocolate roll. I really think 
nothing's gonna top that strudel though. That was phenomenal. I don't know, this chocolate roll might be amazing. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh boy, that's tough. I really can't tell you which one I liked more, the strudel or the chocolate cake. If you guys have eaten before, let me know what you like, or actually, what was your favorite thing that you've eaten here, if you've ever eaten here before? Let me know in the comments. Right now, I'm just on getting myself a cup of coffee, just so I can get myself more energy, because I feel so stuffed. Like, prepare to get full if you eat here. I'm just saying it now. Prost. Time to move along, but wow, I gotta say, I, I absolutely loved it here. This was so good, even without the actual buffet and just family style. And, you know, I kind of like it when it's not community sitting. So, I mean, you have that for as a plus. Anywho, we're gonna keep going around World Showcase, but I thoroughly enjoyed it here. Definitely worth the money. And I ran into my friends, Jojo. Hello. Caroline. Hi. And then Kyle. Hello. And we're gonna hang out here in Japan a little bit. They all have different social medias. I'll put all of the links in the description below. But it's fun to hang out with some friends. Yeah, One of my favorite places to get a drink in Epcot, the actual garden is closed, but they moved some of their beverages up here, including the Tokyo Sunset, which is something I've been wanting to get. Have you not had it before? I've never had the Tokyo Sunset. Oh, I've, had it. I've had the Violet Lemonade. Yes, yes. Violet Lemonade. Violet Sake, not Violet yeah. Lemonade. Violet Sake tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Very sweet, yes. very good. Tokyo sense a little less sweeter. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Cool. Well, good to know. We'll see. Well, they have both the violent sake and the Tokyo sunset. Hey, which drink should I get? Tokyo violent. I'll let you pick for me. The sun's gonna about to set. So you gotta go with the sunset. Sunset, please. Yeah, right? The sun's about to set. You're right. You're right. <laughs> now we can actually enjoy our Tokyo sunset, right? Woo! With the sunset. I'm so excited. I've never yeah. had <laughs> With the sunset. Look at that. It's like perfect right now for the sky to literally start getting a little bit darker out. I just love sitting over here. It is so beautiful. The best way I would describe this is it's something out of a frat house basement, but in the best way possible. Amazing. Thank you. Kyle, do you like your violet sake? It's to die for. Thank you so for bad. holding the light, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Nate, do you like your Tokyo sunset? I do. I feel like it's a beautiful Tokyo sunset. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's not, no, the, well, the sun is setting. It, it does. It, it makes you feel like it's a, a beautiful Tokyo sunset. Everyone needs a cheers, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, cheers. Yeah, we need a cheers. 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 <laughs> As we were sitting there drinking our Tokyo sunsets, we kind of missed the sunset. Yeah, it, we had so much fun with the Tokyo sunset. Dark. Yeah. Good drink. I recommend it. But now we're gonna be moving along. I am gonna meet up with some other friends. I just randomly ran into Jojo and Kyle, so it was fun to hang out with them for a little bit. And we're just gonna maybe get a ride in or just explore World Shake Case a little bit more. It looks like Kyle, Caroline, and Jojo are actually gonna be bouncing out. But Vincent is here to tag in. So much fun, right? Oh, some water squabble right here. Pack us out. Pack us out. Yo, yeah, you're tagging out? Yeah, oh. Yeah, you're, you're tagging us in. Oh, oh right, right, there right. it is. Hey, hey. She's like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> now that we've joined up with Vincent Vision, JoJo and Kyle have left. We're going to end up going into the Rosen Crown, get ourselves a nice little pint. What do you say? I'm so ready for this. Yes. Yes, yes. Vincent's getting a black velvet, Guinness on top, and a little Strongbow. bit of Strongbow on the bottom. Looks pretty cool, huh? Oh, it does look very fancy. I think I'm gonna get myself a good old heart and uh, just enjoy my beer. <laughs> I don't know. Of enjoying beers. Yeah. Enjoy look at that though, look right? how it's See, It's cool. It's very fancy. Oh boy, don't spill the beer. Are you vlogging while holding the beers? Oh yes. Oh, look at that, champion. Where are we going with these? <laughs> As we sit in the UK here, drinking my harp and of course the uh, black velvet, I did notice all the way back there in the gazebo, they have like, it looks like a piano. So we might be seeing some live entertainment in the back of the UK for Festival of the Arts. Oh, that'd be fun. I know that they had uh, meet and greets there with Mary Poppins not too long ago, I seen that. So it'd be nice to see some live entertainment. Now that I've enjoyed my 
delicious pint here in the UK. It's so funny because I had a pint of beer in the UK and a liter of beer in Germany. I think we're gonna grab another person to join along with us and move along. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she? Here at a park. Oh, hey. Here she comes, she comes <laughs> just a walking down the street. I can't believe it was a six minute walk. Yeah, you were literally Are you so wearing close. Figment's sweater? Yeah. Um, you! Me! Oh. <laughs> what a fun night. And now Jackie, super enthused, has joined the party. I have joined. Yeah, we have just been hanging out. And uh, I had dinner at Beer Garden and ran into a whole bunch of friends. That sounds so nice. I yeah. We're at Disney World. That's what happens. It's oh. Epcot's World Showcase. Oh. <laughs> We came on over to the France Pavilion because a lot of the very popular things over here just recently started opening up again. The bakery has opened. I'm so excited because I can go get my Napoleon. And even the ice cream and the sorbet stand opened. But what I'm excited more about is now all of the France merchandise is here. All of this stuff that was actually limited edition for Disneyland Paris is now inside this shop. This is really fancy stuff. And now I think we're gonna actually go to the bakery. I'm gonna get a nice little coffee. That'd be a good way to cap off a cold chili night at Epcot. And maybe a, maybe a pastry? I don't know. Or Maurice, the baguette! Sorry. <laughs> Just take a look at all these beautiful treats. I know I had that apple strudel in Germany, but I can't resist the Napoleon here. I just absolutely love this. It is amazing and I have to get it. I'm just so excited to be here. Also, maybe a latte. Yeah, a latte and a Napoleon. That sounds very good. So now we actually got ourselves a little table here and I haven't been in this like area for such a long time. I don't know when this opened. I would assume like not too long ago, but this is the first time I've actually been in here since the park reopened and I love it. This is like one of my favorite places to come. So like now that I know that it's open, I'm probably gonna come here a lot more. They have my favorite dessert on Walt Disney World property. I absolutely love this. I had it for the first time, I think sometime last year, and I remember watching it while I was, I remember eating it and watching Illuminations and just thinking, that's it. That's it. That's my favorite dessert at Epcot, and what? it's always been that way. What's in it? Uh, it's like kind of like custard, and it's got like that very like uh, phyllo paper. I see it. Yeah, 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 that paper. Like, look at it. It's like, it's like a cake, but it's very light. Okay. Very light cake. Mm, very light. light cake. Vincent got a chocolate beignet. Yes, beignet. Not, with, not a Mickey beignet. Not like a Mickey beignet. Or anything like no. That. This is one here from the France Pavilion at Epcot. I'm very excited to try it. Looks it looks like a chocolate like donut, but yeah. it's, a, it's a beignet, eh? Chocolate and hazelnut inside of it. Oh, fancy. <laughs> and then Jackie also got the same thing in Napoleon. Yeah. So, you got influenced by how like excited you were about it. I got super excited. Yeah. I probably looked like a like a like a no, I was like, just like I don't know what I was probably I was looking like. That good. I was too. <laughs> but here it is. I am so excited. <laughs> I devoured my dessert. <laughs> I mean, I got a little bit of Scrapples and I'll definitely eat the rest of that. Scrapples. Vincent loved his chocolate beignet. Oh, it was so good. And Jackie, she's on the fence. I'm on the fence, it was good. She doesn't agree with me, this is my favorite dessert, but that's why it's my favorite dessert. Your favorite dessert. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. Dessert. That's the way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So I think that's gonna do it for me. What a fun, amazing night. I just got to come to Epcot, hang out in World Showcase, enjoy the beer garden, run into some friends, Kyle, Jojo, Caroline, and then Vincent from Vincent Vision, and then Jackie, super enthused, and we just got to hang out, enjoy, eat some France pastries and some great France coffee. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.